Yes, folks, I'm driving again. Definitely, uh, kids, do not try this at home, but I'm trying to do a reenactment. There's uh, my son, Matthew. Hey, Matt, say hello. <laughs> the reenactment is the uh, the other day we were driving to baseball. Now, uh, uh, Matthew and Joseph. Hey, Joe. Hello. We were going to church, and uh, Matthew said something. We were talking, and Matthew was asking me about Dad. Um, you know, you're always talking about uh, taking action and making decisions and he said you know what about people who don't do anything isn't that something and as it is Matthew always says some pretty profound things and we started to discuss it so I wanted to kind of bring you back into it as we are driving here and uh, Matthew sitting right next to me because that's how it all happened just a day or two ago so you know what we'll do Matt we'll take it inside and we'll discuss Matthew's profound statement about uh, about doing anything isn't that something and how it relates to when Daddy talks about taking action and making decisions. Right, Matt? Mm -hmm. You guys up? I don't think you're up. Okay, see you later. Okay, we'll bring it inside. So yes, it really is interesting, you know, when you listen to kids, whether you have children or not. I remember reading about uh, Henry David Thoreau, and even Einstein talked about the fact that we should embrace, or at least pay attention to children and their bewilderment about everything, how they get so excited about things. Before they've had a lifetime of all those negative influences that maybe you and I have had to make judgments or prejudgments, they just like, they call it like it is. And sometimes they say these profound things. So as I said the other day, Matthew and I, we were talking and he was asking me, Dad, asking me, Dad, when you always tell people, well, you know, when, when you're giving advice, uh, you tell them, well, you, you've got to act. You know, you've got to make a decision to act. And we were talking about the fact that I've been recently reading a book by a gentleman who, um, who helps Fortune 500 companies. And he was talking about the fact that the name of the book is Too Many Bosses, Too Few Leaders. And he was saying, leaders, it's not something you can learn. Yes, you can learn the application of being a leader. He goes, but first, it has to come from within. Not that you have to, it's not innate, not that you have to be born with it, but he said, you have to have a purpose. What is your purpose in your company, in your community, in your home? What is the goal? Once you're in tuned and, in, and motivated by your purpose, then it's two things. And I know you've heard it before, but this is what this best-selling book says. Passion and energy. It's all about energy. That energy that drives us, that makes the difference. So when Matthew said, Dad, but how about something that or someone who doesn't do anything. He goes, they're still not, they're still doing something, they're just not doing anything. And I said, well, what do you mean by that? He goes, well, I guess, Dad, they, they, they're deciding not to do anything. He's absolutely right. Even when we decide to sit around and be in the, on, in, into the sidelines of life and not on the field, even when we decide not to start that daily walk or exercise program, program, or our financial future, or to be better communicators, or to help and serve people. By doing nothing, we still decide. We make a decision not to do anything. So Matthew is absolutely right. If you're not doing anything, you're still doing something. I don't believe, and I don't believe that you believe, that we're here on earth to do nothing. We were given this vessel to be productive, to go forward, every day. Yep, you fall down eight times, you get up nine, but isn't that what it's all about? Make it a great day. It's the only one you've got.